channel hi guys welcome back to my channel i don't know whether the recording has started or not. oh yes it started so i am using ocam to record this video and today i am going to make a tutorial on visual studio uh, there is how to make a advanced password generator that generates password using numbers strings and many other things so let's see i have made one for myself and let's let us run it and let's see what happens so here it's the password maker like this now i can select from here the length of the password for example i've selected 15 and then my password is ready here now i can copy it and use it so you can make this type of thing also i'm going to give you a tutorial right now i have to go to my coaching so I, i'm not going to type all the tutorial i will just copy and paste because i've kept it already here one more thing is there that's my own ai artificial intelligence and if you want to know how to make your own artificial intelligence then you can comment in the in this section there is let me show this also hello hi sir how are you so it is running sorry sir but i can say these again if i didn't understand you so hi sir it's actually how running at very sorry sir but i can say these again if I so let me open the Visual Studio 2017 and then we will start the program. So here is the Visual Studio. And now we are going to make a new project. Okay, let me restart. There is some problem either. So there are Blend and Visual Studio. Microsoft Blend for Visual Studio and also the blend uh, sorry normal visual studio let's open a new project we will make a windows forms app.net framework project like this one and uh, i'm going to change the location of this one so that it will be easy i'm going to keep it on desktop let us change the name to password alpha and then just create the project out here it's the project what i'm going to do is to just make a small look like this one fine and then what we need is some uh, thing called trackbar fine we have added it then we need a button we have added two then we need a text box we will add it two again we have added it then we need one or two label so i will use one only this one fine and we will input one more label out there so here are all, all these things so here it's label here it's a text box here it's another label here it's a button and here it is a track bar so let me just do the some settings out here and just take it like this and like this and like this fine so i made some settings you can customize it by designing or something like that now let me open the code out there which is on my screen I will I'll give it to you in the description also so here is the code now what we have to do is that we need to rename the buttons according to this code fine that's uh, that is how we will do that one so let us remain, uh, rename the text box like this one select it and rename from here txb password fine we have renamed it then we should rename the button also so what is the name of the button uh, we could keep it uh, let's say we should uh, write the name of the button as button one oh, fine we'll keep button one only so let's leave it 
I need to think much about it. Now we will rename the track bar too. So the track bar should be named as track bar length. So I just rename it to track bar. Let's see. Copy it. Copy it. And name it like this one. We have named it. Now we will just name the label too. So label pass length will be our thing. Let's rename this label as label pass length, and we will just put some space out here. For example, let's say it's zero zero zero. And then we will change this one also in text. So we'll write length, length. Click OK. Now it will ask you for the length, and this one is like this. So now double click on the track bar to open the source code behind this one. So track bar source code is open. Just go to this code which I have given in the description and copy from here. Private void track bar length scroll. You could copy this one no need to copy this one actually in uh, in uh, anywhere you don't need to copy this one you need to copy the things with two line which is inside the brackets curly brackets actually then copy it very easy copy it's control plus c and then paste it here between the brackets only like this fine no problem yet there will there is problem but we will sort it out then what we have to do is go to the notepad again and then we need to have specify int pass length is equal to zero copy it and just place it before public form and just enjoy your int pass length is zero actually you just need to copy do not forget to play paste this one because it is one of the important part if you forget there will be errors in your code Fine, we have pasted it there. Then what we have to do is to make the shuffle length. What we have to do, we have to use shuffle. So we'll just copy this one static shuffle string return as this is a complete statement. No need to understand it right now because I don't have time actually. But I will make another video on this one also. And just paste it behind initialize component like this one. So this will shuffle the text strings and all the things. Now just go back to your design click on button and when the button is available just open the code again and on button you need to paste this one copy this one like this in copy and then paste it here back like this what will happen actually is uh, this is the thing which we have to shuffle and this thing will shuffle it very well and then we will get a random password out there then we will uh, left with something trackbar length so we'll copy actually we have pasted it before also so now let's go to design just keep the buttons and actually all letter here fine actually there is an error let's see what is the error out there there it is fine the label does not exist we have to name it as label 1 because we have named it label 1 in the past in here in the designer the actually the label is named as label 1 sorry this one label 1 so what will happen we will just rename it like this one so it's label 1 we will name it this one is label 1 fine label 1 and from here we will copy it we will name it as label 1 label 1 so it's actually label 1 so no need to have one more level we could just change it afterwards too now we have made the a design and we have pasted the quotes also what we have to do is to check it there is no error we will start this run build has started actually and then we will get a run out we could add some more features in it like copy button 
then a progress bar or something like that and you could get something very cool out of there and I have made my AI also if you want to know how to make an AI on the social studio just, com just uh, give it in comment now here actually it's like this one what I'm going to do I'm just making this code to 15 and button 1 and here it's our random code the actually the we have typed it here in the string text and we here is the shuffle it's red in color you could see on the screen and it is just shuffled by the shuffle class you have made here above and then on clicking on button one it gets shuffled every time so that's how you can make your own random password generator and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel share this video and just give it a like actually thanks for watching guys I will be making this much videos again. If you want me to make another Visual Studio's video, you could just comment below. And if you want the artificial intelligence code or how to make an artificial intelligence, that you, you could also comment below. Thanks for watching. Yes, I am using OCam screen recorder. So you could download it from the link.